Now let me tell you all the story about the best friend I had. He was very nice, but he wasn't no lad. He wasn't your typical friend, he was very large. I found him one day when I was sailing on my barge. He wasn't a human or an animal, but rather he was a fish, the biggest of them all. My flying whale, my flying whale, my flying whale. My flying whale. I went out to the ocean, and he was standing there. He said, take me home. I thought, at least he's not a bear. When I was just a boy, my mama told me that I could never have a pet, not a dog or fish or cat. She said I wasn't responsible for anything I did. That was 20 years ago, back when I was a kid. She said to see an animal, I'd have to be a vet. But look at me now, Mom, I got my very own pet. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. I brought him on home, and I put him in the pool. Then I brought him some sunglasses so he could look cool. My whale liked to fly, he flew to New York, he swam in the Atlantic and he bought me a fork. He flew up in the air and said hello to a lark, then he walked about Manhattan and Central Park. He also got some pizza and he bought me a car, and he learned how to play the electric guitar. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. He went to a Yankees game and he flew over a dome. Then, after eating a hot dog, he flew on home. My whale came back to me and said that home was born and bland. He said, let's go out and join a rock and roll band. That's a great idea, man. I know how to play the bass. I picked up my sunglasses and I put them on my face. I said, goodbye, San Francisco. I won't miss you at all. And my whale and I flew all the way to Canada, Montreal. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. My flying whale. And that, my friends, is the end of this tale. And the moral is if you want a pet, buy a flying whale. <laughs>